Before this video starts, I just wanted to say and give a big shout out to my dad because everything that goes on with my Jeep or any of the Jeeps or the Subaru that I have, whatever, any car I've ever had, my dad's been there to fix, install, and mod it with me, for me, whatever. I just want to give a big shout out and thank you to my dad. And if dad, if you watch this, you're the shit. I appreciate you so much. Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. How is everybody doing today? So I made a video the other day that I never uploaded. It was a little update video. I got a bunch of Jeep parts. I got a snorkel, I got front floor pans. I got wheel bearings and I got an electric fan. So we're going over to the shop. I'm pretty sure we're installing everything today. Maybe not the floor pans, I don't know yet. Um, I didn't get the front carpet out. I got everything under this seat and back. That carpet is taken out. There's holes everywhere, no surprise. Like not, it's gonna be like 90 degrees today. I'm already sweating and I've been outside for five minutes. So it's gonna be hot, it's gonna be miserable, but the Jeep's getting some done to it it's gonna be awesome i can't wait to get the snorkel on more than anything but i'll see you guys when we get to the shop and start doing some stuff Cameras suck for shit like that. I realize that after I start. Roxy chewed my fucking case for that. <laughs> so, it's gonna get, end up getting fucking filthy. And I can't put, I don't have any other case for it except like the half waterproof one. Yeah. We got these new wheel bearings on, no play, back and forth, both sides. Um, we didn't put the, these backing plates back on because as you can see, they're, in, they're shot anyways. So I mean, it just prevents dust and stuff from getting in the brakes, but whatever. Um, so now we just gotta put the rotors back on. And then the, um, oh my God, the brake pads. 
man. Since we released the pressure, we gotta do the, bleed the brakes now, right? No. No? no. So then, never mind. We just gotta settle these back in there. Put the wheels back on. And that's it for that. I still got the electric fan over there and the rear brake line leaks. That's what, well, you can't really see where the splashes were, but. So this brake, it, I'm pretty sure it's leaking. Well, it's gotta be leaking from right there. What's up? <laughs> Just push it on this rotor, hold it here for a second. There's these little notches on the pads that have to go right there on that bracket. And then the bottom ones just go on and they sit right here. So we're on to installing the snorkel, but we gotta take all this off. So the fender flares are going bye-bye because there's no way they're going back on. And I gotta get aftermarket ones sometime anyways. But the fender liner's gotta come off in order to get these bolts hooked up from inside the fender. So it's gonna be a fun process. Cutting holes in the fender, making everything line up. I hope it all goes together. Let's go, boys. The glory hole, baby. Oh, shit. Definitely gotta cut the inner fender. Oh, yes. Alright, so because I bought the snorkel setup used we didn't have a template so it involved a lot of random cutting but my dad got it pretty spot on and now it's not focusing and this is where the bracket's gonna go they're self tapping it in we got the air box out got a little hole a little start with the puddle hole for the air box It's gonna be nice. And then this flex, the flex tube is just gonna go from the snorkel 
through and under and wherever the hole is going to be under here all right guys so the snorkel's on it's bolted on everything is good air box air box is in I'm just trying to figure out what to do with this fender flare is not going back on don't think the liner is going in either these are the types of ideas that the people of youtube need to see <laughs> i didn't even think it would be all like that This is just so that tube don't fall down and get yeah. stuck in the tire. Come on. Fucker. You just want to cut a piece of the fender out right there? No. Well guys, well, all we did today was just the wheel bearings and the snorkel mod, um, but this is definitely, it looks so cool. It's got a little bit of wind noise. Um, we had to get out of the shop. My dad rode his bike to the shop and it's starting to drizzle now and he's got like a half hour ride home. Um, I did keep the inner liner to the fender. It will go back on at some point. Um, and what we were doing there at the end what my dad was doing he made a little bracket and like cut and bent and drilled it in here so the um so this flex tube wouldn't fall down now obviously this hangs a little bit it might rub it probably is definitely going to rub when the tire flexes when i go off road so i'll have to probably get something to prevent this or see what other people are doing to prevent their tire from rubbing or like what other mods or how they set up their snorkel kit um but that's all we got done today um but that it's actually a lot the last thing that needs to be done really is this dry shaft now it's not going to do it but depending on the way it's sitting this dry shaft has some play in the u-joint the u-joint's definitely trash it hasn't been replaced um and i gotta fix that brake line like you can see i literally just pulled in and it's all over um so i'm just going to keep adding brake fluid to it till we can fix it um but yeah that's gonna be it it's starting to rain i'm gonna go inside quick and conclude this so yeah guys that's gonna wrap up this video um what i gotta say about the snorkel if you buy one used or even if you buy one new i think some of the ones i was reviewing people or that said they didn't come with a template so what i'm gonna say is don't be afraid to cut the fender um, the snorkel covers up a good amount anyways. Like we, my dad cut a hole for the snorkel to get into the fender, like the little tube. And we ended up moving it back like an inch and a half probably. Same thing with some of the bolts we had to cut towards closer to the door. So don't be afraid to cut. Um, hopefully this video helps a little bit with installing um, a snorkel. Um, one tip that I can think of off the top of my head is make your first cut originally right around the middle of the fender flare so right in the middle is about where the snorkel is going to sit anyways so you use that for measurement whatever you definitely want to set the snorkel up there use some sharpie or a marker whatever size it up a little bit but what i got to say is put that tube right in the middle of the fender flare and that's like a good starting point point. and wheel bearings are always easy it's just take everything off Take it out, put everything back in, piece together. You don't got to worry about anything coming apart, breaking, bleeding your brakes, anything like that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. The Jeep looks sick. Um, other than that, enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you next time. Peace out.